Mini hello, what's up guys, it's Beanie here. Today's lesson is how to use the score block. Okay, let's start. First, make a blue team soccer goal post. Place a score block on the goal post and change its color to red or the other team's color. Click on the score block to change the color of the score block. Okay, add the soccer trigger in the soccer goal. Soccer trigger to trigger a score when the ball enters the soccer goal. Place the launching device above the soccer goal. Launching device as a sign if the ball enters the goal. And then, load the ribbon fireworks into the launcher. Alright, the blue team's goal is ready. Next, let's create red team soccer goal. Repeat steps like making blue team soccer goal. On the red team soccer goal, change the score block color to blue. Goal is done. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, place the initial item chest outside the soccer field. And then, put the soccer shirt into the chest. Okay, put the ball in the middle of the field. Alright, it's time to open developer tools. Open map rules, then select start setting. Set the minimum players. Change the minimum player to two players. Next, open game targets. Here you can set the game time limit and others. Team setting. Make a team according to the color of the soccer ball that you have made. Here I choose the blue and red teams. Then set how many members in one team. Next, set the player behavior. Set the game permissions as you want. Here, I turned off summon allowed and skill allowed. Well, it's time to try it. Okay, let's go. Okay, here I become the red team. I will try to kick the ball into the blue team's soccer goal. I shoot the ball into the enemy team's soccer goal. What if I shot the ball into my team's soccer goal? The opposing team's points will increase if you shoot the ball into your team's goal. I hope you learn your lesson for today. Comment if you have any questions. Okay, see you in the next video. I'm Billy. Bye.